news tonight. You are permitted to come into this house the way you are. You can come with sickness, you can come with poverty, you can come with whatsoever. But I've got good news for you. You are not permitted to leave that door the same way you came in. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. So when praises go up, what comes down? Blessings come down. So you are not permitted to live the same way you came. Can you celebrate Jesus one more time tonight? Hallelujah. Scripture says that the entrance of God's word giveth light and understanding. Amen. Light and understanding. And any man that walks in light, walks in understanding, cannot meet God's plan for his life. It is on that premise tonight, I want us to rise to our feet as we welcome God's servant in the house, Apostle Mike Arupo. I have been pronouncing and cramming his name. Welcome, sir. Now, if you want to clap for Jesus, can you make it more resounding right now? Make it more resounding to him, to the King of Kings. And the Lord of Lord, you ain't clapping for Jesus. The way you are clapping is very suspicious. I say clap for Jesus now. Glory to Jesus. I came with the water garden crew, just a cross section of them. And they decided to come with me for this short call experience. And I, we did not want to stay back. We wanted to ensure that we also catch the fire of the joy, this unspeakable joy that is everywhere. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate Jesus one more time as a minister. And I'm just doing that for three minutes before I come preaching God's word. Amen. Hallelujah, church. Can you turn beside or in front of you? Tell the person, my gratitude will never cease. <laughs> Now turn to the next person again. Tell the person, my gratitude will never cease. Come and hear. Thank you, Jesus. My gratitude will not cease. Your praise will always be on my lips. My offering.
and send praise to God. Just worship. Oh, Yahweh is about. Yahweh is about. Aya kana yama na kamela yanoe. Esi kome ya kame ya na yola. Ikuni ye na yama la gade yama la yade ya na na. Ena kamela ya na na ma na kadiye. Jacabie Kabala Nosa Alla Kadaya Balaya Balaya Yahweh Sabao Yahweh Sabao Esa capia la nossa. The Lord of hosts, reveal your glory. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. for this meeting thank you for the organizers of this meeting thank you Holy Spirit for sponsoring it because unto you shall the garden of your people be every time we gather unto your name the land is subdued thank you Lord I ask you oh God of heaven let the heaven kiss the earth on the behalf of your children here we can gather unto you and you will not visit with us thank you for chains that are broken thank you for foundations that are going to be shifting now in these few minutes and as all the things will be done and with those that have been done the choir ministered and while they were ministering I was seeing angels dancing here thank you take all glory take all the glory to the glory of your name in Jesus mighty name amen thank you what I got you may go I want to appreciate the Holy Spirit and I want to thank God and very importantly I want to appreciate our Father in the house. Let's celebrate our Father, the Apostle. Is that the way you are celebrating Apostle? Now 
are hear this. We are not worshiping a man, but we are appreciating him for all the bullets he has been receiving on our behalf, for all the battles he's been fighting on our behalf. And he's still standing. He is still standing. He has, listen, listen. I, I, I really mean to be very circumspect here. You don't know what they go through, what a man goes through to serve God genuinely in this generation. When everybody's trying to make God, make money a God. But this one man who wants to do God's will, give a hand clap to Jesus. When we will all appear in heaven, you will be shocked. There are many people you are seeing, you won't see them there. Because they are not doing church according to kingdom plan. What they are doing is business. So when you see a man like this who has remained where God kept him to keep feeding the flock, all we can do for him is just to appreciate him. The Bible says there are 7,000 that have not yet bowed to bad. But none of them came out. It was only Elisha that came out. Where were the rest? They were afraid. But the man who is ready to receive bullets for the truth, we shall appreciate them. <laughs> Sir, we honor you. God bless you, sir, for this privilege. Amen. You may be sitting there. God bless you. I didn't want that psalm to continue because um, you will bring the prophetic line here. And this is short call. And I've been given 15 minutes to stay here. And when you are calling the prophet and you are making sounds like that, just know that the atmosphere can just change. And with one, one more time, please celebrate this choir. You just, you just reminded me of the old tunes we used to sing those days in choir. I mean, joy unspeakable, that kind of song. I remember when I was choir director, I led that song. And then the other one, blessed, you came to do blessed. Those were old tunes. Please celebrate God for dynamic word. You are bringing memories afresh. Amen. I just have just something to say in a few minutes, just to remind us of something. And I trust the Holy Spirit, it will sow a seed in your heart that uh, will remain unforgettable and will help your spiritual adventure not to be a tragedy, but to be something that you will continually enjoy doing. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. You know, the truth remains, it's very easy to pray. And it is also very easy to sing, but it's not simple to praise. Many can sing, but they can't praise. Many can pray, but they can't praise. Many know all kinds of tunes. They can sing it and, and move around the, 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 the harmony and the symphony of the melody, but they don't know what praise really is. And Bible says something as we read the book of Hebrews chapter number 13 and 15. Please put it on the screen for us. Hebrews 13 and verse number 15. I want to talk to us briefly on what I titled sacrifice of praise. That is what the devil is making sure he denies us of. Yeah. Therefore by him let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God that is the fruit of our lips given thanks to his name let's go to Proverbs chapter 18 verse 20 18 verse 20 Proverbs 18 verse 20 Proverbs 18 verse 20 and a man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled Father, thank you for your word. You blessed it already. Let it become spirit and life to us. We demand, O oh God, you will speak to us and we will receive your life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If there is any time that people need to praise God, it is in this season. If there is any time we need to revere God, it's in this season. While the economy is not trying to be favorable to anybody, but I want to assure you that there are too many people that will survive, not just survive, they will arrive, and not just arrive, they will stay alive. You didn't hear what I said. They will not just survive, they will arrive, and they will not just arrive destinations and destiny, but they will stay alive. And if you are that person, give the Lord a big shout of praise. 
you must understand that the sacrifice of praise is not praise when God has done something for you. A sacrifice of praise is praising God when God has not done something for you. And for me, that is spiritual madness because it takes you having to see what God has done for you to praise God. But the other way, God is telling us that we need to praise him even when he has not done anything. He said, rejoice for the Lord will do. Now, until you understand the mystery of praising God, you will understand why David said in Psalm 107, he said, how I wish my people will understand that, oh, that's why he, he, he cried and said, oh, that man will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works. He has done what? He has broken the gates of bars and cut the iron asunder. What he was trying to say, he was trying to say, you don't know what brought me here you don't know what made me a king I used to praise God even when they thrown me in the bush when they came to anoint a king I was the least they ever expected but in the forest all I did when nobody was there when the prophecy had not come to pass all I was still doing is to praise God for what he has done and for what he has not done and for what he will do that's one of the hardest things to do as a believer because every time you look at if you're trusting God for the fruit of the womb every time you look at your belly there's no sign you my god the moon comes and the cycle moves around and you're still menstruating you don't know why you should praise god but can i tell you something you can just praise god because at least my menses can flow if my menses flow it's a sign that i'm soon gonna miss the menses and something will be missing because there's something that god begins if you thank god for one it will give you two. <laughs> Friends, the sacrifice of praise. Hear this. See, God doesn't know who he is to you until you praise him. It's your praises that is a reflection of his revelation to you. He doesn't know who he is to you until he sees the reflection his image in your praise he doesn't see his image in your prayer he sees your image in your praise that's why here there's two things i want to say the story of the children of israel in the land of babylon hear this you see whatever you don't have whatever you whatever you've not seen it's not what the devil is after the devil isn't looking for your child the devil is not looking for your job the devil is not looking for your husband the devil is looking for one thing and that's your song psalm 137 and verse number four and five it says how can we sing the lost song in a strange land how that means the devil wasn't looking for any other thing he's looking for that your song in Revelation 5, the Bible says something. It says, And when no man was there to open the book and remove the seal thereof, scripture records, and when Ayakomasha, one of the elders came and said, Hey, the lion has prevailed to open the book. If you read downwards, hear this. There was nothing else that came out. It was the song. And he said, they sang a new song. Listen, there is a song in what you are going through. There is a song in the captivity. There's a song in the pain. That's what the devil is looking for. He has covered the song. He doesn't want you to sing the song. He wants you to see the calamity. He wants you to see the problem. He wants you to see what God has not done. So that you will sing the song. There's nothing else he's looking for. He's looking for the song. That's why every time people, 
In Isaiah 54, you heard, and the prophet was crying out. He was crying out. He was crying out. Oh, sing. Sing. In other words, we prayed for the barren. We fasted for the barren woman. And the barren woman have not given up a child. There's no conception. We fasted. We prayed. There is still no job. We prayed. There is still no lifting. We prayed. There's still no, no marriage. Hey. Suddenly the prophet said, hey, I discovered something. There's something the devil is looking for. And he wants to make sure you keep praying so that you forget the song. He said, if you can sing the song, even when nothing has been done for you to sing a song, he says, sing, oh barren. Sing, oh barren. Sing, oh jobless. Can you sing? Can you sing? Not for what the Lord has done, but for what the Lord will do. That's when it is a sacrifice of praise. Do you know why prayer points are too long? Do you know why prayer points are long? Prayer points are long because you don't understand that after one, two prayers, turn it into a song. And a voice of thanksgiving will proceed out of them. And they will not be small. Jeremiah 30 verse 19. And a voice of thanksgiving will proceed out of them and they will not be small now come on there's something somebody who studied linguistics should be able to explain that you know why am i singing a voice of thanksgiving coming out and they will not be it should have been a voice of thanksgiving proceeding out of them for they thank you for they were not small but why will it be a voice of thanksgiving shall proceed out of them and what a voice of them that make merry and i will meaning it was not done you don't know what thanksgiving will do that thing you are trusting god after the prayer after the seed after the fasting look at yourself in the mirror and start thanking god for who he has made you to be for the things you have not seen no wonder the bible said in a hebrews chapter 11 what did he say and Sarah didn't have a child. She prayed. Maybe she fasted. I feel anointing here now. Look, look at it. Sarah did not pray again. And the Bible says, For Sarah, when I age, was past who has passed a particular age you expected something to happen and it has not happened and maybe every time something looks at you you look at yourself and ask yourself questions will I end like this and I could hear Sarah the Bible said and Sarah when her age was passed the order of women to conceive has passed in other words Sarah became menopotic Sarah, Sarah, and heat menopause. Men, pause. Something has paused. Ay, ay, ay. Something don't pause. They don't press pause for her life. And I could hear Sarah say, Yahweh Sabaoth, Yahweh Sabaoth, Yahweh. Your age has passed. What God promised you 25 years ago, you have not seen it and you are singing. The Bible says, For Sarah, one of the ways you receive strength to go on with the journey in the Christian faith. You must understand the mystery of praise. Even when nothing is raised. Even when nothing is raised. Oh my God. You must understand that praise work at something. And Bible says, and Sarah receives strength to conceive because she judged God faithful. You've been faithful. 
from the edge is found. That is why. Yeah. That is why your name yeah. is forevermore. Is forevermore. You've been faithful, Lord. and tell you all the church you've been attending what can you show for it you've gone to church you kept yourself as a virgin where is the husband that have come you married as a virgin where is the child you have given birth to can you still sing the lord's song because that's when it is because the devil is looking for that song can you sing that song even when there's nothing to sing about can you praise him can you do that that's when they become the sacrifice of praise after they mock you after they call your names after they ask you are you still there was passed but as she began to judge God faithful in the midst of unfaithfulness imagine you it don't pass the only thing that agrees you is mockery your friends are calling you names some of you have been persecuted already stop crying hold it I want to pray right now finished. I've passed the message. Will you still sing the lost song? Will you still tell them I'm in faith? Will you still tell them I'm still believing God? Will you still tell them I will not turn my back on them? Yes. Promise he will never fail. I'll follow I Disappointment is deposited in your spirit. Turn it to a song. Turn it to a song. Turn it to a song.
want to pray for you. I want to pray for some set of people right now as I do. Just want to hear this. It was what thinking. The impartation for you to turn the sorrow moment to a song. I can't imagine how Sarah receives strength to bring forth. Tell yourself, I will bring forth. Because she judged God faithful. Even when it looks like God is not faithful. God used her church meant to give her a miracle. Don't you forget the devil is not looking for anything. He's afraid of your song. You want to sing the song when it has happened? No. Don't wait for that time. Sing the song now. I want to pray for people right now. Wherever you are, lift up your hands and say Lord I'm giving you a song I'm writing a song I'm singing this song my life will become a song to you no matter what come my way the devil will not take my song it's a give him a sacrifice a praise that is the fruit of your lips and the other one says thank you a man will be satisfied by the fruit of his lips in other words this fruit of your lips is the praise as long as you continue to praise your life will not end up without breaking forth that's what the mystery of Sarah made us to know. Father, thank you. Stretch your hand to me right now. To the altar now. Holy Spirit. Many people came here. Many people came here today. Even when I can't feel you. Even when I cannot trace you, I still have faith in your word that you are always there for me. I still have faith in your word that you are always there for me. That song is a song of sacrifice or praise. You are always there for me Even when I can't feel you Even when I cannot trust you I still have it in your world That you are always there for me I still have it in your world that you are always there for me I will serve you till the end I will love you till I see you for your everlasting love has around my whole being my life is in your hands Lord I am your project in progress and when you are through with me all the praise belongs to you and when you are through with me all the praise belongs to you lift up your hands right now father there are people you are still working on here there are still projects that are still in progress when a project is in progress, you will see what's like slow down. That's why things are slowing down. You will see what's like diversion. That's why people are diverting you. You will see what like stop work. Stop. You will see what stop, stop like men at work. 
But when you are through with me, all the praise belongs to you. Father, I pray today, everyone under the sound of the voice of the Holy Spirit today, you know them as they praise you now in the midst of storm, in the midst when age has passed, when things have passed them. Lord, by this meeting shall call unspeakable joy. You have said in Isaiah 51, you will make a new garden of Eden and joy and gladness will rest in the habitations. Lord, oh God, the way it is that they have prayed like Paul and Silas prayed and it seemed that nothing happened and they switched into praise and the foundations were shaken. I pray today as they begin to sing in their homes as they turn the mockery to a song as they turn the shame to a song as they turn the abuse to a song as they turn whatever blackmail to a song accusation to a song I declare in the next one month 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 give your children sign of unspeakable joy thank you for doing it to the glory of your name in Jesus mighty name we pray give the Lord a shout of praise Celebrate Jesus, salvation voices. Let's celebrate, let's celebrate. Is that all you can do for Jesus? Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, we bring greetings from the world of salvation ministry. Tonight we came with our own alabaster box. And we believe that as we break the box in the presence of our King, our blessings will go forth in the name of Jesus. We want to celebrate our Father in the house, the Apostle. Um, he's my personal Father. I don't know about you. It's always feeling good to be home. Amen. Every time I come here, I don't come as a visitor. I am home. Praise the Lord. And so it is for us. Tonight we want to praise and we strongly believe that as we praise that the blessings will come down. Hallelujah. Can we celebrate this once again? Hallelujah.